Hey, this is David Crone with HorseracingNation.com. Right now, we're going to talk about the Derby Trial Stakes taking place this Saturday at Churchill Downs. The Derby Trial is probably the worst named race in all of horse racing right now because, quite honestly, it really isn't a Derby Trial anymore. This isn't the days of Citation and Dark Star and Tim Tam and Gale and Hill Gale where these horses were coming out and winning the Derby out of the Derby Trial. Now, this is basically just a grade three that happens to run a week before the Derby. This year, there are a couple horses that might go to the Derby if they win here and have the graded earnings. Those two being Pleasant Prince and 85 and a 50. Pleasant Prince would almost definitely get in if he won here. 85 and a 50 still might not have the graded earnings. Um, when you start talking about this race, pace is what is going to dictate a lot of this. 85 and a 50, obviously going to the front. He's an extraordinarily quick horse. Last time out, he was going 45 flat with his head cocked to the side. He is really, really, really quick. And what's going to really dictate how this race goes is, first of all, can he get a mile successfully, which we don't know yet. Luckily for him, he's only got to navigate one turn. And the other thing we don't know, how will his head be? And will anyone try to go with him early? That's going to be a big question that has to be answered early. If they go with him, will he get a mile? Will this race go really, really quick early? Who knows? Wow, wow, wow seems like he has to go to the front. The D. Wayne Lucas trained horse almost has to send. Aside from that, you have Hear Ye, Hear Ye, Miner's Reserve, Hurricane Ike. These horses all have some speed. The stalkers are the horses like Game On Dude, Privileged, Aconite, and then you have just a couple closers in here. Soaring Empire and Pleasant Prince, I think, will be coming from out of it in here. Soaring Empire has never really been a deep closer, but he looks like that's going to be his only chance here, so I think he's going to take back early. So, a lot of this is going to determine on how the pace goes and how Churchill's playing. If Churchill's a little bit speed favoring, which it can be, and if nobody really puts tons of pressure on 85 and a 50, he's going to be really, really tough to beat. He's definitely the most talented horse in this race on paper. He's a really quick horse. He's got just tons and tons of ability. He's, the, he's definitely the horse to beat, period. Um, beyond him, you have a horse like Pleasant Prince, obviously a nice horse, but a dead closer. He's only really got the one really fast race, and that was in the Florida Derby when the pace absolutely collapsed after they went 46 and change for the first half mile in that mile and an eighth prep. So when you look for upset potentials, I think you've got a few in here. I think some of those other Florida Derby horses might have a shot. The Game on Dude, Soaring Empire, and Miner's Reserve all of those horses were within four lengths early in the Florida Derby, where they went 46 and change. All of them finished horribly, but they might offer some value coming back into the Derby trial, turning back in distance to a mile. Those horses have a shot. Game on Dude has been moved to the Baffert Barn. Miner's Reserve has been working great since that race. I'm between these two horses as kind of the horses I'm, go as one of the two is who I'm going to pick. I'm going to go with Game on Dude just because I think the trainer change to Baffert might move this horse up a lot and he's never really run a bad race. He even ran pretty decent in the Florida Derby, even though he fell apart late. So I think Game On Dude is going to give you some value here. I think he's got a shot. I think Miner's Reserve and Soaring Empire could be up there too. I like these horses out of the Florida Derby in here. It's a good race. It's an interesting race. I don't know that it's really a derby trial, but it's a good race to watch. It's a good race to bet. Happy uh, opening weekend at Churchill. We got the Derby in a week from this Saturday, so good luck to everybody, and make sure you stick with HorseRacingNation.com for all of our Derby talk and Derby chats and Derby information leading up to the big day.